we are working with arrays but inbuilt in the python we don't have the chance to create two dimensional or multi dimensional arrays so we are installing a new library that is numpy numerical python so this numpy is treated as alternative to our matlab this has the functionality to perform the tasks that is what being performed by our matlab whenever we can we are working with the fourier transform or linear algebra machine learning algorithms or deep learning algorithms in artificial intelligence uh, we can use it so here you observe already you know the first line i am importing all the functions from the numpy if i don't do not use this okay let's start um so i have installed already numpy that's why only otherwise when i say import num numpy it will show some error first we have to install it okay import numpy and i am saying numpy dot array i have assigned values 1 2 3 4 5 to this array when we are using the numpy there is no need to mention the data type of the values in the array which we used previously in the previous case we used to mention array dot array comma i we we used we used to tell what is the data type signed int unsigned int unicode like that now we are directly mentioning the values only we are printing 1 2 3 4 5 the values are printed but i am not interested to use this numpy big name so we can use numpy as n so now i can assign the values to this array by using n dot array this n dot array we will check what are the different options that are being supported by numpy i am saying n dot see so you, you can concatenate or append numpy is supporting many functionalities uh, i am fastly scrolling the different functionalities Uh, a range we will discuss this a range and many functionalities bitwise and also many functionalities fastly i am scrolling so there there are huge number of functionalities that are being supported by the numpy okay i am not at all interested even to use this n dot array also i want to use only array that is possible so this time we are saying from numpy import all functions import all for all i am writing start so there is no need to use numpy dot array or a dot array simply we can uh, assign the elements 1 2 3 4 5 to that array so i am printing now so the 1 2 3 4 5 elements are printed what if i give a floating value 1.1 now i have given 1.1 see the result all the elements in the array 1.1 the second element third element fourth element and fifth element all the elements in array they are converted into float this is implicit conversion because we have not done this conversion we are expecting only the first element to be float but already we know this is the property of an array it it will accept all the elements of same data type because we have changed the data type of one element it is ex it is thinking that all the remaining elements may also belong to float that's why all the elements are printed in the float now i am telling to the ide don't worry I, uh, by mistakenly i may enter the float in the array but consider all elements as integer explicitly i am mentioning so now all elements are printed as integers we we can check the data type of the elements in the array that is possible uh, by checking what is the a dot data type of elements c when we write what is the data type of a then it will show it is an array uh, we are printing this it is numpy dot nd array okay but we want to know what are the values in that array uh, whether they are uh, they are belonging to the integer data type or character data type for that 
I am mentioning a dot. What is the data type of the elements in the array? What are the data types of what? What is the data type of elements in the array? So I have mentioned. Now we have given what is the data type of individual elements in the array. We are checking each and every element in this array is an integer that is allocated with 32 bit memory space. Okay, now if I am changing it to 1.1, now we will execute. Now each and every element in this array is a float type with allocated with 64 bit data memory location. This is how we can create array. We can create an array by using the numpy and also we can check whether if, if any element in the array is a float then we can convert all the elements in the array to our requirement. We can convert all the elements in the array to the integer by simply giving comma int. 